I am David the Bruce. This is Jungle Queens, and we bring you the third part of this amazing serial called Jungle Queen. Yes, and um, you know what we've done. Uh, if you've listened to the first couple of parts, is we've taken all thirteen episodes and then divided them into three parts. And now you are watching part three, the conclusion of Jungle Queen. And interestingly, it has three amazing women in this um, serial. And um, this one, uh, and in each one of the parts, I've highlighted one of each of the women. And this one, I would like to uh, talk about Tarla Burrell. Tarla Burrell. And uh, interesting name. She's a Romanian American, and um, <clears throat> she started out in Europe as a double for Marlena Dietrich, no less. And then she came to uh, America and was dubbed uh, a second Garbo, as in Greta Garbo. She had that real uh, kind of a cold glamour look that uh, was just. Um, uh, kind of, it was just wonderful, it was unique, and um, she had uh, a lot of parts. She, she never really rose to the top like an A-lister or something like that. She had a lot of interesting parts, and then eventually she went back to Europe and um, uh, uh, did um, entertained American troops in Germany and uh, the refugees. So uh, just a, a woman with a great heart and a great talent and a career that is, uh, um, I thought, pretty good. I mean, most people don't, don't achieve what she did, you know, and uh, I wish she could have achieved more. But uh, you're going to see her in this series, or you have seen her in this series, if you've seen the other two, as a Nazi doctor, yes. And the interesting thing about this film is yeah, the, the, each of the three women in this are presented in, in power positions. Uh, women who actually do things, and uh, this is quite unlike most films in the 1940s where they're just playing wives or, you know, moms or sisters or something like that. Th th these women are um, independent and, and knowledgeable and formative, and I like that. And uh, the, the series, even though um, it does uh, make Af uh, Africans seem... Um, uh, simple, um, it, this series did provide a lot of employment for African-American actors. And uh, in the 1940s, 30s, and 20s, there was not a lot of opportunity for black actors in America in Hollywood. While Hollywood was rather white, so I really appreciate that about the, the, the series. And also, um, Hollywood didn't revert to using white people in, in uh, blackface, you know. No, this, this is actual black people, black Americans um, in this. So I, I appreciate it for that. So um, even though I can fault it on a lot of cultural things, which people have done, uh, sometimes viewing a film within the context of the, of the period uh, uh, brings quite a bit of understanding. Another thing that I really enjoy about this is here are different ethnic types joining together to defeat a common enemy. And, and the common enemy here, of course, is Nazi Germany. Uh, Nazis. And um, um, we can live together. There was a lot of racial tension in the United States. What this film does with women in leadership and showing various ethnicities living and working together, it gives us a picture of a better America, of a better world that could be, despite its cultural current, cultural flaws. All right, I'm David the Roos. Let's get on to the last of the Jungle Queen. Remember, 
Throughout Europe, all military experts agree that the European nation which controls Africa controls the southern approaches to Europe. Boys, we aren't safe here. What do you mean? This is the middle jungle. The only territory in all Africa is still unexplored. Now, where are the Nazis hiding my friends? There's no mines out there. You'll find your friends there. Who's in charge of Nazi agents here in Tambosa? Well, now I want you to come with me, Kaiba. I obey the gods. Ambassador Clinton told Kennedy where we are holding Elliot and Miss Courtney. What's Bart doing about it? She won't let the British get hold of Elliot, Miss Courtney, or the munitions. No. This affair concerns the welfare of the British Commonwealth of Nations. Consider it a sort of hidden, undeclared warfare. That's the only way, sir, if I may say so, to handle Nazis. What do you hear from our constabulary, Rogers? They're following Mr. Kelly to the old mine, where the Nazi munitions are stored. Drop some sort of bombs on us. But why? Keep those munitions out of the hands of the English. Maybe that car's the answer. We almost got blown up because some Nazi knew you were coming to help us. Oh, I'd like to take the credit, Bob, but there are two cars not very far behind me full of constables. I don't think they'll find the evidence that we want. We don't know any more about the Nazis than we did before. Maybe Chatterton will have something to say about them. We'll let the constables look around here.
just a minute. Here's Dr. Borg now. Hello, Lang? Oh, Weber, what is it? Lang has gone to the cave where his men are holding Godak. Lothel and Kaiba are coming with the Tongili. She wants Godak. You say that Marty is with Lothel? He's with her, but he sent me to you, Porter Lang. Well, thank you, Norma. You tell Marty not to worry. No one is going to get Godak. The cave where Godak is held prisoner is in the side of Mount Rudanza. If you speak the truth, Lothel, Kaiba will be held hostage for you no longer. His life will be spared. When Godak, the all-powerful judge of the tribes of the middle jungle, is with you again, then the people will know those who speak the truth and those who lie. Let us go to the cave and rescue Godak. No. Wait here for me. I have been there before. The strangers guarding Godak never discovered me. I will make sure we can't surprise them. He's still a hostage. Lothel has not yet saved Godak for us. I trust Lothel. I have not tried to escape. I don't trust her. She may be leading us into an ambush. I shall follow her to find out. Hold him till I return. Wait in the outer cave. Heinkel will let you know what has happened. Lothel is bringing Kyber, Marty, and the warriors. They'll be here soon, Godak. Lothel? I thought only Marty was to rescue me. Lothel is trying to expose us. But if you go there, accuse Lothel and Kaiba of being traitors... No, Lang. It's time to tell my people that Marty is the traitor and that you are an enemy. Lang says not to worry about Godak. Then join the warriors. Were you expected to find Godak? You sent a message to the strangers, Marty, warning them that I was coming with warriors, and they have taken Godak elsewhere. The fact remains that Godak isn't here. The warriors will believe me when I accuse you of misleading us again. You know I'm a traitor, but you will never live to prove it to the middle jungle tribes. Lothel will no longer be known as the mystery queen of the jungle. This is Godak, judge of the Middle Jungle. Incidentally, he speaks English as well as we do. I thought he had decided to join us. He looks more like a prisoner to me. No, these gentlemen are my protectors. He's got to travel, Lang. What? Yes. I just had a special message from Berlin. Extra urgent. Wait till I decode it and you'll take it with you. Well, that's all right. I just wanted to see that Godak was made comfortable before I left. Godak has told Marty where the sword of Tongu is hidden. Only those two know the secret, and it makes them all powerful. Yes. The natives will obey them, while Marty and Godak will obey us. This is important, Elise. It just came from Berlin. I'll tell you about Godak later. So London is sending a courier to Chatham. The man is on his way now. He should be in Tambosa not later than the day after tomorrow. What do you think about the discovery of our jungle radio? It was obvious that the English would triangulate sooner and later, and thus find our compass bearings. The courier is carrying the correct bearings to Chatterton. Now, what if wrong ones were substituted? Lang, this time you've done the thinking for both of us. Dr. Borg, I've missed you. Thank you, Rogers. I've been busy at the farm. May I see Mr. Chatterton? Bob and Pam are in there with him. I'm sure that he and they will be delighted to see you. In that case, I shall enter unofficially. Oh, you're so polite, Rogers. Sometimes you make me ashamed of myself. Can I help you, sir? I've been sent from London to see Mr. Chatterton. From London? Official business?
Yes? A courier from London, sir, with a dispatch from Mr. X. Ask him to come in, please, Riders. No, no, please don't go. Uh, any trouble en route? An uneventful trip, sir. Nazi espionage had no opportunity to learn of this mission. You came the usual way? There was no reason to change it, sir. Thank you. That's what I get for staying out here talking with you. As Mr. Chatterton hasn't asked the others to leave, I doubt that the really object to you joining your friends. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction of knowing how curious I am. What's that? Mr. Chatterton, we have a sort of code. Oh. Any additional message? No, sir. As a matter of fact, I don't know the contents of that dispatch. Just as well. I'm afraid you'll have to wait a day or two for my answer. No, I've put up at the hotel, sir. Good. Well, that'll be all at present. And thanks, old man. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll wander around town. I got a yen for excitement. I hope you find it. Well, I usually do. I'll leave you now. But I may come back later, before returning to the farm. You're always welcome here, Dr. Bork. Thank you. Mr. Kelly is following him now, sir. And I've informed the constabulary. Oh, good man, Rogers. You know, that courier didn't know the answer to some of my seemingly casual questions. He's a Nazi. But how did Rogers know? Oh, I have a buzzer under here. I work it with my knee. This looks very official, sir. Yes, that's a very good copy of a secret British dispatch. Then the Nazi substituted couriers. I think so, Pam. Another loyal Englishman probably lost his life. catch on to our courier or not. So we set a trap for anybody following you. You Nazis sure think of everything, don't you? We don't leave anything to chance. That's why we'll conquer. You've done all the conquering you're ever going to do. Thanks. The constable followed me ahead and behind, just in case I met a Nazi. Any luck? Yes, my men have the courier. Good. Very well, take him away. Get going. I think it's about time this place was searched. Mount Rudanza isn't very far into the jungle from here. Well, this is one lead that's genuine. Yeah, the Heinies never expected us to find the real courier alive after they got through with him. That's why they didn't mind him overhearing their talk about Godak being hidden in the cave on Rudanza. You know, Bob, it begins to appear that your strategy is being proved correct. You mean looking for clues to the Nazis here instead of in the jungle? Right. If you can rescue Godak, you'll be well on your way to clearing up the entire jungle trouble. That's just what we're going to try to do, sir. You know where this cave is located? The cave is just about here, a few hundred yards up the mountain from this trail. All right, I'll go on ahead. Chuck, you get the constabulary and follow. Yeah, okay.
arrived from Dr. Elise Dork concerning the report sent to her by your excellency. Continue. Elliot's suspicion is fact. Godak is now at Mount Belgan. Well, Godak, I brought you from the caves of Mount Ladans into this place because here no one will ever find you. And here you will kill me, isn't that it? If I refuse to help you? That's right. Well, Muller, Weber sent the message. And Bork? The last time Weber talked to the farm, he was told that Dr. Bork was still at the commissioner's. Unfortunately, Dr. Bork, the Nazi agents we've captured so far refuse to talk. In other words, Mr. Chatterton, not much progress. But Bob and Chuck are on the trail of Godak. That is good news. Rescuing the native leader will ensure the friendship of the Middle Jungle tribes. Oh, it's still only a chance. And also a chance that Godak will be able to give us a lead to the Nazis. Where are Mr. Elliot and Mr. Kelly looking for Godak? In a cave on Mount Redonza. Bob went on ahead and Chuck is on his way with the constabulary. It is my duty to help all true friends of the Middle Jungle people. Do you know if Godak has been in that cave down there? Yes, but he was taken away from it. Oh, that explains the lions. Those big cats were attracted by scraps of food left there. Do you know where Godak is now? He's been taken to a hiding place somewhere deeper in the jungle. I have not yet found out where. Does anyone else besides Godak know where the sword of Tongu is hidden? A trader named Marty. But he cannot show the sword or claim to be Godak's successor until he proves that Godak is dead. Bob! Bob Elliot! Bob! Bob Elliot! Chuck! They can constabularies are at the caves. We chased out some lions. They chased me first. Well, they'll save my life. Queenie? Oh, did I scare her away? Well, she isn't around here, is she? Who got Godak? The lions or the Nazis? The Nazis. Lothel says they've taken him to a hideout deep in the jungle. Has she found it yet? No, but I got a good idea where it is. The Nazi radio station. No place else. We can get our compass bearings to it from Mr. X in London. <laughs> By the usual code. Chatterton, Ambosom. Urgent, yes. Don't you think, sir, it would be safer to send this message to Chatterton by the new code? What's it matter? The Nazis already know we have the compass bearings giving us the general location of their jungle wireless. When they murdered the courier I sent to Tambosa, the dispatch he carried had those bearings in it. The important thing that they do not know is Elliot's conviction that he'll find Godak at the Nazi wireless station. Hello, are you there? Put me through to 7861 West. X1 London here, yes. Relay at once. Compass bearings are Middle Jungle Radio Station by code to Chatterton, Tambosa. Elliot believes Kodak there. That'll do now. Come on. No, no, Jerry. None of that. Thanks, old chap. You've made it a certainty that your Nazi friends in the Middle Jungle will now take reckless chances. And the men associated with you here in England, they are being invited to keep you company. Command warns that there's no excuse for failure, Banker. You either succeed or die. 
But Dr. Bork, how is it possible for Lang to fail? He's leading the natives to Jungle Jack's camp. Elliot has no reason to suspect that he's has moved tonight. I know the plan, Danka. It's mine. But Elliot has escaped before. Lang is on his way now with Marty and Warriors. We'll reach Buana Elliot from about one hour, maybe. We'll have to go faster than this. He won't expect us tonight, but he will tomorrow. If we don't kill Elliot, you'll never take Godak's place and rule the people of the Middle Jungle. I want to rule. You help me, Buana Lang, and I'll help you. Langa! Langa! We'll go very fast now. Oh, come on! So you see, Pam, by going to Jungle Jack here, Bob and Chuck are on the direct route to the Mount Balgan region, where Godak is. I know, Mr. Charlton, but, but Bob has virtually challenged the Nazis to come and get Chuck and him. Word from Nairobi? The scouts will send a company, sir, if you need it. Well, that should be a tonic for your doubts, my dear. You should understand this, Pam, that Mr. Elliot wants to make it appear as if he is foolishly exposing himself to attack. You see, actually, he'll have Chuck, Jungle Jack, and all the loyal safari boys to help him. I was just getting ready to come to Tambosa. What are you doing here? We came here to see you. We need your help. Where are all your men? I just sent them west with a shipment of animals. They've gone about a month. Uh-oh. Before we left Tambosa, we let the whole town know that we were coming here to see you. Just to make sure the Nazis would hear about it. Seems to me you didn't leave nothing undone. Didn't you say you had London tip the Nazis off that you know where Godak is? We want to be sure the Nazis will follow us to a place we've chosen. It was a good plan, too. If you hadn't sent your safari west this time instead of Tamboza as usual. When your safari didn't show up in town, Chatterton figured that your boys would be here with you. Hmm. Sorry we let you in for this. Well, I ain't. You think I'm forgetting they murdered Mr. Courtney out here? Fire's burning down. No guards. Everyone must be sleeping. It'll be easier to kill them. Yeah. Come on, tell the warriors. jungle people. Your enemies are coming. Many enemies. You must go. We'll do as you say, Lothel. They're striking faster than we figured. I shall lead you. Come. prisoner at the old mine. The line to go and so has the safari. There's nobody here. It begins to look like we've been tricked. Buani Elliot didn't come here, you mean? Elliot told everybody at Tambosa he was coming here. Maybe he's really gone to Mount Belgan. I got close enough to see those two. Where's Lothel? She does it every time. Do you know the man the native called Lang? I sure do. He's Dr. Bork's safari leader. He usually hangs around that experimental farm of hers. Bork. I wonder. So do I now. But could be. You trail Lang and the native. Chuck, you report to Chatterton, and then come on out to Bork's place. That's where I'll be. You want me to tell her that? Do you, Lang? Well, Elliot wasn't in Courtney's camp, and so far we haven't found a trace of him here in the jungle. I'll tell Bork. She's in Tamboza, picking up the Courtney girl. And Courtney was her? The girl wanted to see the farm. Dr. Bork thought it safer to bring her here rather than let her come by herself and maybe stumble into something. Be sure to tell Bork about Elliot the first chance you get. She will ask me. Don't worry. 
She'd show me around. Her work must be very interesting. Yes, it is. I've heard Dr. Borg speak of you. You're welcome to wait, sir. Thank you. Dr. Borg. Miss Courtney, this is Stenka, my foreman. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Courtney? The laboratory controls our work in the field. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So good. I have just about decided that fumigation is necessary. Oh, uh, do so by all means. We won't interrupt you. I'll take you to the seed house first. <laughs>
I came back here from the camp. There's no doubt, Mr. Chatterton, that Lang is a Nazi. Jungle Jack recognized him and is following him now. That is important. You know, Lang must be a key man. He knows the middle jungle, and he's probably behind the trouble with the natives. Sure, but he's also hired by Dr. Bork and hangs out at her experimental farm. Jack, do you and Bob suspect Bork? Don't you? Bob and I separated, and he's on his way to have a look at that farm. Well, he'll meet Pam there. She's visiting the place with Bork. Well, I think it might be a good idea if I got myself out there in a hurry. I don't want to miss anything. You better take my men with you, Chuck. Thanks, Commissioner. I will. You can never tell about Nazis. <laughs> That's right, Marty. As long as Kaiba is alive, you won't be able to take Godak's place without running the risk of discovery. And we'll kill Kaiba. You kill Godak. You have him prisoner in your caves. That's it. But Kaiba must be dead first, so that Lothel won't have him to back her up. I know the secret of the sword of Tongu. I will say that Godak told it to me. i make myself judge in his place. Well, the judge knows the secret. Only he rules all tribes in the middle jungle. That's what I want. And Marty can help me. You help me, Buana Lang, and I'll help you. Jungle Jack, huh? Tie him up, I'll take him with me. Marty, you better get back to Tangara and look after Kaiba. It's you, Marty. What do you want here? I just wanted to be certain that Kaiba was safe. Safe? You mean till the test of fire tomorrow? Kaiba has been held hostage for Lothel, mystery queen of the jungle. He must pay for our treachery. Hide the body and take his place. I'll go visit Kaiba. I've come 
here to save the tribes of the little jungle. Neither you, Marty, nor anyone else can prevent me. Dr. Bork shot that man Denka to try to prove that she wasn't a Nazi. But I'm certain that she is. So am I, my dear. So are Bob and Chuck. But we have no proof, and so far she hasn't betrayed herself. Come in. Dr. Bork. Good evening. Well, Doctor, your farm has a clean bill of health. I'm relieved to hear that. My dear Doctor, you are free to continue your work. <laughs> As you probably know, your constabulary has been questioning me. <laughs> Polite but thorough, was it? Very thorough. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chatterton. Good night. A lot of performance. She's pretending, but she doesn't know that we suspect her. Oh, she's smart and ruthless. Mm -hmm. And that adds up to dangerous, my dear. Especially when we don't know what she's going to do next. Bob and Chuck think she'll go back to the farm. That's why they're staying there. We've been waiting around here for hours, and what's happened? Nothing. Nothing will until Lang comes back from Mount Belgan to report to Bork. Suppose she doesn't show up. Well, we'll find out what Lang does. Nazis at the other end of this phone. All the wires, you mean? Not a bad trail, if you ask me. Let's locate the wires first. They're probably underground till we get the jungle. On my way to Balgan. I left the car beside the road and doubled back to the trail. Were you discovered? Suspected. Well, what about the telephone? The farm is no place for me now. I intend to send you from Balgan to remove the phone. But uh, now I'll wait. Well, I'll get rid of it. It won't take long. I'll use your car. for the jungle now and hunt for the wires on the same bearing. Just like we figured. It goes to Balgan, all right. Better than that, it goes to the place we have to find. Yeah. If we're guessing right, we ought to join up with Jungle Jack sooner or later. And Mr. Lang. She parked the car on the side of the road about halfway to the farm, so I came on here. Either they're following Nazis, or the Nazis have... Return here at once. Very well.
thought you'd find Elliot or Kelly here, didn't you? Come on, let's get out of here. Now's my time to telephone. Yes, Lang. I rang the farm about an hour after you left the caves here. I figured Dr. Bork would be there waiting for you. Miller and Heinkel just brought in another prisoner. Kyber. Good. I've got a prisoner, too. Pamela Courtney. The Courtney girl, eh? What do you want done with this Kyber? Give him to Marty or keep him here? Put him in the cave with Jungle Jack. Yes, Lang. What? How do you know? They dug up the wires. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, Lang. What's up? Lang is pretty sure that Elliot and Kelly are tracing the telephone line here. You and Heinkel know how to fix it for them, don't you? Sure. Dr. Borg showed us. Her idea. All right, Miller. Fix it. We're going straight to Balgan, all right. By the slowest, toughest route I've ever taken any place. Yeah, those last few hills were kind of tough. Hills? Mountains, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you see, Miss Courtney, I am responsible for Germany for winning control of the middle jungle. Is that all Germany wants? No, Africa. I'm only one of many key agents. But now, like the others, I can report success. For your information, Mr. Elliot and Mr. Kelly will never reach Balgan. We better have a talk with Kodak. I've been expecting you. Have you made up your mind to cooperate with us? No. Well, in that case, you will be killed, and Kaiba too. Marty would then produce the sword of Tongu, would he not? Of course. But Marty does not know the true secret. I only told Marty about the other sword. What other sword? It looks exactly like the sword of Tongu, but it's not the real sword. Who knows the difference? Only one man can tell the real sword from the false. Marty cannot rule the middle jungle people unless he knows where the real sword is hidden. Kodak will reveal the secret to us a little later. After Miller and Hank report that Elliot and Kelly are dead. Dr. Borg's right. Elliot and Kelly are coming here now. They are cooperative fools, Miller. We change the direction of the wires, they follow them, and walk straight into Borg's trap. Yes, our telephone wires will never lead them into our secret headquarters in Mount Balgan now. This looks like something. Yeah, but it's still not Belgan. Leave it to the Nazis to have more than one hideout. They sure are playing things. There's the one. Here they come. Looks like it goes underground again. Yeah. and don't know it. See when.
Thanks, old chap. Anderson reports from Berlin that Germany will attack Poland at any moment. Not unexpected, what? But at least this office has its affairs in order. But not at Tambota. Let Chatterton know the worst at once. <laughs> Commissioners under Mr. X's supervision, I'm the only one who isn't ready. Everybody I need has disappeared. Bork, Bob, Chuck, Pam, Jungle Jack, Godak. Hey, this looks like something. Yeah, but it's still not Balgan. Leave it to the Nazis to have more than one hideout. They sure are playing things. Dr. Borg's right. Elliot and Kelly are coming here now. We are cooperative fools, Miller. We change the direction of the wires, they follow them, and walk straight into Borg's trap. There's the wire. No. Looks like it goes underground again. Yeah. Yes, our telephone wires will never lead them into our secret headquarters in Mount Balgan now. How do you understand, Miss Courtney, why Africa rightfully belongs to Germany and how she intends to get it? What Germany will get, Dr. Bork, won't be Africa. When you shoot a cat, you sure he's dead before you put your rifle down. By the way, uh, don't expect Mr. Elliot or Mr. Kelly to save you. They've been buried alive. did a good job this time. How are we gonna get out of here? I don't know. Hey, Bob, look. You see what I see? Don't follow me until I call you, Chuck. He's tried to kill us, not scare us. So somebody else opened this tunnel. Must have been Raphael. Hey, it was. The middle jungle people need their friends. But our enemies have captured them. Who else did the Nazis capture, Raphael, in addition to Godak? Kaiba, the Tongili who should succeed Godak. An old hunter and the niece of the murdered Courtney. Jungle Jack and Pam. Where are they? In the caves of Mount Balgan. You mean you can't help our friends? Mine is another destiny. That's a new way of saying no. Take it easy, Chuck. Will you show us the way to go there? Yes, follow me. All we have to do is find where the telephone wires start again and follow them. I will show you a path. That's for me. You follow the wires if you want to. Sometimes I wonder if I'm stupid or just talk too much. Oh, you don't talk too much. Well, it's... Follow the path that will lead you to the caves of Balgan. To go, Dad, Kyber, your friends, to your enemies. Well, Queenie's done it again. Finished? Yeah. We'll be at war with Poland before tomorrow. Good. The sooner the better. Where's Lang? In with Kodak.
He scored that case, Neville? No, he refuses to tell us where the real sword of Tongu is hidden. Perhaps he just doesn't understand. You've been taught all the latest scientific methods of the Gestapo, haven't you, Heinkel? That's why I say, Kodak doesn't understand. Well, give him a demonstration. But don't kill him. Has Kodak told you the secret? No, he's stubborn. I warned Heinkel not to kill him. How about Marty? He should be waiting for me on the trail. Good. Have him postponed producing the sword and claiming Godak's place. Well, shall I tell him about the sword being an imitation? No. Let him continue to believe that it's the real sword of Tongu. Mm-hmm. Godak is beginning to believe it is wise to do as we want. Godak will give me the lower throne? If he doesn't, you can claim to be a successor anyway. Your middle jungle people will never suspect you. How long do we wait? Until tomorrow. When Godak chooses me, I will kill Godak. I want to be the judge. Well, if you can do when the time comes, go ahead. Look! Stop here. You're not stopping, Chuck. We didn't see you. Cut across the telephone wires and follow them into Balgan. Why do you get it here? <laughs> Just watch me. Not seeing you with me, they'll think you're dead. I'll hold them off long enough so no one will follow you. Uh-uh. No soap, Bob. Listen, Chuck, it's our only chance to rescue Pam, Godak, and the others. Well, okay, Bob, I guess you're right. Go on, beat it. Away. Mr. Elliot, we finally caught up with you. What's the matter, Kyber? Is something wrong? Good accent, danger. Very great danger. Well, no more so, Kyber, than the rest of us. Kodak will not live. The science of torture, Heinkel, is to prolong it. There's always another day, but there's only one Godak. I never saw anyone stand so much pain. I, I guess I thought him stronger than he is. There's a chance I can save him. French are getting ready for general mobilization. Weber? Yes, Dr. Bob. What do you know about the sword of Tongu? The man who knows its hiding place, Godak. He's the judge of all the tribes. The sword is the symbol of his power. If we knew the secret, and a new judge like Marty didn't know it, we would control Marty, wouldn't we? Why, well, that's obvious. Marty has to have the sword in order to be judge, and he can only get it from us. Precisely. The chances are, Heinko, that we will never learn that secret now. Where are the medical supplies? I'll get them, Doctor. I've come, Godak, so that the secret of the sword would not be lost to your tongue, Yili. 
No, Phil, I've been waiting for you. Only you can save my people now. Where is the hiding place for the Sword of Tongu? The Sword of Tongu is hidden in... in... With Germany undertaking to fight the whole world, mistakes cannot be tolerated. But Dr. Borg, I thought Godard was stronger than he is. You can't always tell about people when you torture them. How was I to know that he would... Get rid of the body. I've gotten out of your trap somewhere, Muller. I was going to kill him right away, but I thought I'd better let Bork decide what to do with him. Good idea, Lang. Heinke almost killed Godak. Oh, I told him to be careful. How's Godak? Dead. Arrange Godak's body for Matty to take away. Now that Godak is dead, and our friend Mr. Elliot is with us, all our prisoners have become valuable. We we'll use them at Marty. place. Oh, is bombing Poland. You see, Mr. Elliot, Germany's plans have left nothing to chance. England is declaring war. France will follow. <laughs> They're signing the death warrants. You Germans also said the same thing in 1914, Dr. Borg. <laughs> you know what happened. I'll let you talk to me about it a little later, Mr. Elliot. But I don't think you'll find it funny. Put it with the others. Or is Chuck? It would be cruel, Mr. Elliot, to let your friends think that Mr. Kelly was dead. You permitted us to capture you in order that Kelly might escape, hoping he might save you. But the natives picked up his trail. Mr. Kelly hasn't gone as far as you'd hoped.
report, Your Excellency, from our Balgan headquarters, the Middle Jungle. Our progress in Africa has been much less than I expected. I hope Dr. Borg is not failing us in such a glorious moment in Germany's history. Dr. Borg reports complete success. Really? She's able to guarantee control over the judge who rules the Middle Jungle tribes, and she has captured all those who might expose her. Congratulate Dr. Borg. Gordak, the judge of all judges, is dead. Miss Courtney, Mr. Elliot, Jungle Jack, Kaiba. You will be accused of murdering him. Thank you, Lang. Aren't you supposed to meet Marty? I'm leaving now. The High Command feels that my work is a contribution to our war. Mr. Elliot, you did me a favor by allowing yourself to be captured. And you failed to divert attention from Mr. Kelly. He is either dead by now, or my prisoner. the river further down. Catch him coming around this way. Now I'll take you to Buena Lang. Have your men keep the prisoners here. Boinga Moko, Boinga Dancer, Tattoo, Tattoo. Bring Carver with you and come with us. I wait standing. Yeah, you got something there. I guess we don't have a chance. I can't understand why Lothel saved you and then let the natives capture you. I can't either. But she's our only hope now. And if that mystery queen of the jungle don't want these Nazis controlling this tribes, she'd better be getting herself busy. Godak told me where the sword of Tangu was hidden. This is a sword and I have taken Godak's place. I'm now the judge of the Middle Jungle people. Take Kyla. When you want the other prisoners, you know who they are. Kyla may die, but I am not a traitor.
people have asked to assume the duties of the lower throne just for a day. Why are the chiefs of our tribe standing before me? Martin, judge of all Tongili, guardian of the sacred sword of Tongu. Tiber killed Godak, who made you his successor before he died, by telling you where the sacred sword of Tongu was hidden. The chiefs await your decision. Tongu first spoke the law of the tribes and enforced it with this sword. Tongu gave his sword to his successor, the first judge, told him the secret place to hide it, and he who holds it must be obeyed. Sword of Tongu must be obeyed. Take the test. hesitate. Yet they and they alone pass safely through the flame. The guilty perish. You speak of guilt, Marty, and you are guilty. You helped our enemies kill Godak. The sword that you hold is not the real sword. Before Godak died, he told me the hiding place so that the secret would not be lost, so that I might for him choose his successor. You come with lies as you always do. This is a true sword of Kandu. You do not know the secrets of the sword, Marty. Either where it is hidden, or that there be one here who can prove the real from the imitation. I am he who is able to prove which is the real sword. Give me the sword. in this sword. Mystery Queen of the Jungle, your story is true. You have brought Tongu's sword to us. Marty is the traitor, and Nomar is his aide. You will <laughs> Lothel brought the real sword Tongu. Marty is dead now. I'll go. Wait a minute. I'll get the records in Balgan and meet you in Tomboza. Where am I going? Kill the prisoners. They're the only ones who can identify us as Nazis. Come with me, Noma. It is my hope that all enemies of Germany will get... <laughs> I didn't think you had it in you, Kaiba. You're okay. Lufel saved me. Sent me to you. Hey, look here. I say it's a Mauser. A Nazi destroyed by his own weapon. I hope that's the forecast for Germany's future. It is. Bork isn't with Lang. She's probably on her way to Balgan. That's for us, then. Pan, you stay with Jungle Jack. We'll take your rifle. And Lang's revolver with us. Our armies are invincible. Poland will be defeated within a month. We're not so fortunate here. Set the mechanism to blow up these caves. I'll take the master records. What happened? No fell. Take those records, Dr. Bo. You have failed. I answer to the high command for my failure, not to subordinates.
I shall report your loyalty to Berlin Miller. behind her. You've had quite an adventure. Well, I'm sure there's no need to call me Mr. X any longer. I'm Lord... in care of you. Thank you. How did anybody know we were here? Came through official channels. Well, look at this. Contains a list of all the Nazi agents in Germany. Dr. Elise Bork. Dr. Bork's records? How did it get here? Well, the case is really wrapped up in cellophane now. Lothel sent it. Lothel? The mystery queen of the jungle? Yes, sir. How do you figure that, son? But you and Chuck found out that LaFell was with Dr. Bork in the Balgan Caves when the explosion occurred. That's right. She worked it the same way she saved me from the crocodiles. Where did she get the hunk of raw meat she threw him? I don't know. Do you? Who knows? <laughs> she has come again to the little jungle, and the secrets of the sword are safe. The upper and lower thrones are no longer vacant. I came to help you, and now my task is done. I am... Both fell. 